When you get a test back and it shows your omega-3 is low, uh, I think most people know that high cholesterol is an indicator of possible heart disease. Right. Is it, can that be the same? Is, is it a low uh, omega-3 number an indication of, of what? A low omega-3 is associated with a lot of bad things. Um, in, um, we've got most of our data, I think, on cardiovascular disease, and particularly the, uh, death from mm -hmm. cardiovascular disease, heart attacks, fatal heart attacks. Um, and the, the area where the, the, there's probably the most interest is in this area called sudden cardiac death, which is a fatal heart attack that kills you before you can get to the hospital. Uh, and half of the people that die of heart disease die of fatal or of a sudden cardiac arrest. Uh, and the omega-3s look like one of the best predictors for risk for that condition for sudden cardiac arrhythmia. It's called an arrhythmia because your heart goes out of sync. And the, the fact that it's beating out of sync causes it to pump no blood. Mm -hmm. So that's not good. Uh, so sudden cardiac death is an, a specific area in cardiovascular disease where the omega-3s are beneficial. They help stabilize the membranes of the heart so that it doesn't go into these bad rhythms. That's our theory. Mm -hmm. um, although there are other areas that we've been investigating in omega-3 and aging particularly, um, there is a, a way to get, an, a, get a sense of how fast the body is aging besides just looking at the calendar by measuring certain chemicals in the cells called telomeres. Mm -hmm. And telomeres are, of course, the, the end cap on each strand of DNA in our cells. And, and they're there to kind of keep the DNA from fraying at the end, like, on, like the shoelaces, little aglet on your shoelace. Uh, and every time your cells reproduce, uh, that tip, the telomere, gets a little bit shorter because that part can't be re replicated. Mm -hmm. uh, and so if you can measure how fast the telomeres are shrinking over time, you can tell kind of how fast your body, your cells are replicating, which is a mark of aging. And what we found in a rather large study in, in the Bay Area, in San Francisco, uh, we studied the rate of telomere loss, shrinkage, over five years in a group of men and women who had heart disease. And we had measured the omega-3 levels at the beginning of the study. And then we asked the question, was there a relationship between the omega-3 level when they started the study and how fast they aged over five years? Mm -hmm as measured by the rate of loss of these telomeres. And we found a really strong relationship. Those who had the lowest levels of omega-3 in that group had the fastest rate of telomere shrinkage. And those who had the highest omega-3 levels had the slowest rate of telomere shrinkage. And it was just a stair step. The higher your omega-3 was, the slower your, cell, your telomeres were, um, were shrinking. So that, that's a marker of aging. And, and another study we did in the same group that I think really puts, a, uh, puts an emphasis to that finding about telomere shrinking and aging. We actually measured how fast these people were dying. I mean, there's no better measure of, of mortality than death. Uh, you know, are, you, are you living longer or are you not? If your cells are aging more slowly, are you actually living longer? And it, we found that to be the case. Those who had the highest omega-3 were actually living about a year and a half longer uh, over that five-year period than those who had the lowest omega-3 levels. So an internal confirmation of the idea that, number one, the high omega-3 slows aging, and number two, the rate of telomere shrinkage is really a marker of aging, because people with that, that shrink faster die faster. Mm. It's really an important test. I mean, not, we hear a lot about heart health, but really the longevity can, can be a, a factor, right. too. Right, and the fact that most people um, in America, well, die of heart disease. That's still the number one killer. Uh, the fact that you can reduce risk for heart disease is, is why probably total mortality goes down. Although there may be other effects too that are beyond just the heart, just the cardio, just vascular health, blood vessels, particularly the brain, and that's another area of, of real interest to, to us. Uh, we think that a high omega-3 level, like it protects against heart disease, may protect against dementia. Mm. Um, and there's some hints about that from other studies around the country, but we're doing a big study right now uh, looking in 7,500 women who were, uh, had their omega-3s tested at baseline, and then they were followed for over 10 years for, and they were all postmenopausal women to begin with, so about 60 years of age. 
and they were followed for the development of dementia, loss of cognitive function over 10 years. And we don't know the data yet, we don't know the answer yet, but we're, we're hypothesizing that those women who had the lowest omega-3 levels at the beginning, actually 10 years later were more likely to have lost cognitive function than those women who had the highest omega-3s. Um, and if that's true, that would support a lot of other studies that are out there. But it also means that it's important to get your omega-3 levels up earlier in life. Mm -hmm. We don't know that once the horse is out of the barn, I don't think you can turn around dementia by taking omega-3. Mm -hmm. There's very little good evidence for that. Um, but I think the evidence is going to say what you really need to do is to have a lifetime of high omega-3 levels to keep that risk of, of developing dementia down.